All right, people, it's Sprout here, and today we are back on some Modern Warfare Remastered. Once again, gonna try and get ourselves some beautiful live gameplay, but not just the gameplay, okay? We're not just here for the gameplay today. We're here to answer some questions, okay? It's finally time to do another Q&A. It has been way too long, and I'm sorry. A lot of people love them on BO3, the ones I did on that game, and they just went down insane, and I stopped them because, I don't know, I just kind of ran out of questions to answer that I thought were, well, needed to be answered. So, hopefully, we've got some great ones today from Twitter, so thank you for sending those in. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please leave a like if you do. We're just going to be doing all live, answering questions, talk about some stuff, and hopefully getting some gameplay. So, yeah, let's get into this. First question here today is from Luber, and they ask, has it been hard or has it been difficult? you know, transitioning between and hopping between both of the new Call of Duties to make videos and which is my favorite card out of the two new ones. So obviously in terms of playing, it's really not that difficult to like hop between the two. I don't sit here and struggle to snipe on one game, get on the other and do really well and then get back on. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't work that way. I'm, I'm pretty consistent and confident. Maybe it's a little weird hopping from Infinite Warfare to this game because the pace is a little bit slower, but you know, just in, in terms of my shot, no, we're good. In terms of video making, I would, yeah, I would say it's a little bit weird. It's not tough, it's just strange. It's, uh, it's hard to, Decide what you want to post, where you want to concentrate your efforts. Obviously, we've got two games you don't know. One day I might want to play Infinite Warfare, but feel like I should be playing Remastered because I haven't made a Remastered video in a while. So it's just stuff like that. It's really hard to focus on one game. You might lose track of like progress on another one because there might be like a camo you're going for or video series you're working on. You feel like you're neglecting it. Is there a guy here? There is. So in terms of that, it's really weird. And obviously, we've got a viewership divide too which uh, is kind of frustrating, but it, you know, it's understandable. But it is nice to have two games. Obviously, one day you might not be feeling a certain card and you've got another card that's pretty much brand new to choose from. So on that front, yes, I enjoy it, but obviously it's a little bit weird to uh, hop between the two and make videos on two when you just want to focus on one of them, but you can't, so you got two. And because I played COD 4 so much in the past, Infinite Warfare right now is more enjoyable for me. I just like the pace. I just like being fast and move around the map quickly and just absolutely dominate. So that's why I enjoy that more right now, but overall, I enjoy them both. Okay, so the next question is from Vivius, and he asks, when will my apparel and my logo finally be done? Obviously, I've been working on that for the, like the past month, I should have had it done way sooner. I've left this way too long, but good news Set all the designs off to EGL, which is like the company that handles the apparel basically for all the phase guys I think so uh, they're the guys to do it They're the guys to sort it So I sent them off and I don't know the process I don't know how long it takes but just know it is out of my hands now I'm just waiting and the logo is pretty nice. Okay, it's nothing too crazy nothing too out there just basically my signature for the gaming stuff, okay? So I'm gonna throw that on screen right now. If you wanna see what it looks like, it's pretty nice, okay? And I've been working with the Phase Studio guys. Beautiful, beautiful work. They've done great designs, great stuff. So I think you guys will really enjoy them. The next question is coming in from Blake and he asks, will there be any Phase recruits in 2017? So obviously this is like a big topic. And since I've got this position, this content leader position, I have been asked this question a lot. And why is everybody pulling out Juggernaut? Why is everyone pulling out Juggernaut? So obviously, I've had a lot of other things to sort out. I was playing catch up with the team channel for a while. I've, I've had this position, what, like four months now or something like that? We've been, we've been going. Uh, we've been going, get some stuff done. So obviously we had that and I've got a lot more responsibilities since then. Face Studio guys now helping them out. Payments to sort for the YouTube channel, for the players. I'm working with editors and all that good stuff and just some other things that I don't really want to talk about. But just know, okay, I'm doing a lot now. I'm not just sitting here organizing and sorting the videos for the team channel. Just know that I've been working towards trying to get some new players, some fresh faces on... We obviously have kind of like a divided roster right now, which is fine. A lot of people are moving away from gaming. They're doing their own thing, which is completely fine. But obviously, if we want to keep up with the content that we've been posting, the montages, the team montages, all that good stuff, we're going to need some fresh faces and some fresh players. But obviously, I'm sure you guys know FaZe isn't just a Call of Duty YouTube team now. They've got so many other things to focus on. They've got many pro teams now, new sponsors. They've got the new house. Like so many other things they've got to focus on. So this really isn't like their main priority. And that's why it's been pushed back for so long but ever since I got this position I have been pushing this idea on them and I've just shown them like it's something we need so hopefully they get around to sorting this like I said they got so many other things on their uh, on their plate right now so hopefully this is one of them in the near future but I hope fingers crossed we make some changes so the next question is from Ali and he asks what are my goals for the new year obviously it's nice to set goals for yourself for the start of the year oh 
No, oh, that guy, if that guy's literally two bullet me with the MP5 there. But obviously it's nice to set goals for yourself at the start of the year. And um, for me, it's really just a different set of goals. Last year it was like to focus on YouTube and get my grind on and make sure I make the best videos I can, focus on making videos and just enjoy the growth that happened. Like it was just an insane year. But the only downside to that year was I got a little bit unhealthy again. I didn't do anything drastic. I wasn't like gaining loads and loads of weight, but I was just, I felt like, you know, the slob life. It was real. Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that guy was up there, but I, I just couldn't see him. So yeah, I just wanted to focus this year more on my health, uh, get healthier again, go back and work out, or just eat better, and I've been eating great recently. So obviously that's like the most common goal ever. Uh, this guy's going up there again. What are you doing, sir? No, it's not happening. So uh, obviously that's pretty common, but it's just something I need to focus on. And as well as that, I want to make sure I do some more traveling. I want to adventure more. I want to go to different places, see new things. And that starts with my trip to New York. New York? New York. For New Year's. I was, about to, I was about to say New Year's and I said New York. I just merged them. That was weird. Okay. This guy, I don't even know what's happening there. I think that guy's jug sniping, which is absolutely horrible. So, yeah, they're my goals. Travel more, explore more, go on adventures, and uh, just be a bit healthier. In terms of YouTube, just keep doing what I'm doing, and uh, we'll see where it takes me. So this question I got asked a lot, and uh, I'm sure you guys know what it is, but I'm going to pick Slendy, and he asked, do I have a plan to return or make a return to Black Ops 3? Obviously, you all know Black Ops 3 was a great year for me. Love that game. Still love that game. And do I ever see myself going back? I kind of do. I honestly do. Uh, not sure when, because I'm enjoying these games right now. We've still got a lot to do on them. New maps coming out on Infinite Warfare next month. We've got sh just some great content happening on Remaster right now. So right now, we're in a good position. Obviously, a lot of people miss it from me. They subscribe to me for that game, and they enjoy watching me play that game. So I'm not going to sit here and say I'll never go back, because I'm sure I will. It's not like multi-card in previous years, where it was so far back. It was like years and years old cards, and I just wasn't enjoying myself. I know if I go back to BO3, I will probably enjoy myself. I'm sure I'll go back. I don't know when, but I definitely will at some point next year. I'm sure you guys are excited for that day. But right now, there's a lot of things to do on these new cards. I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying how they are. But yeah, I'm, I can see myself doing it. Okay, I'm, I'm sure that makes a lot of people happy. I'm sure it does. And there's obviously things I can do in that game. But right now, there's a lot of fresh stuff happening on these cards. I don't want to stick with them. So who knows how long it'll be for. I'll still play these games when I go back to BO3. But yes, I see myself going back at some point next year. Okay? Alright, I know you're smiling. Stop smiling. Stop it. So James asked me, do I like the new phase house and will I ever visit? Of course I like it. It's absolutely unreal. That is the dream right there. The dream place. So of course I like it and I'm sure I'll visit in the future. I want to meet all those guys again. See what the house is like. I don't think I've ever been to a place that nice. So like I said, New Year's resolution or New Year's goals is to travel more. So maybe I'll just fit that in at some point. I'll definitely want to visit though. That's just, it's just unreal. It's absolutely unreal. I can't believe phase is a team has got a place like that is just mind-blowing but i think that's going to do it for today's video i hope i answered some great questions for you i know a couple of those that you're probably really excited to hear or hear some info on so if you did enjoy drop a like i really appreciate it hopefully the gameplay was pretty good too didn't do anything too crazy but got some nice streaks in there so i think you'll enjoy it so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed please leave a like if you did and i'll see you all tomorrow